All right, quick tutorial coming at you. I've had a lot of questions recently. Uh, question is, what is CAM? How do I get CAM? How do I get the buildings for CAM? How do I use CAM? Where can I go for all of this CAM stuff? What plugins are you using? Etc. 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 Well, I'm not going to tell you all of the plugins that I am using, and it's not because I'm evil, it's because my plugins folder is a little bit large. Yeah, over a gigabyte. So, I'm not listing all of them, I'm sorry, I'm just not. But I will help you out. I won't list all of them, but I'll kind of point you in the right direction to where you can find what I have. So, first thing, what is CAM? For that, you need to go to sc4devotion.com, as you can see here. Once we're here, we go to the forum, and I will warn you, this website can take a while to load, so give it some time. We will scroll down to BSC Place. You can see it's got a sub-forum, Classes Add-on Mod. You can go ahead and click that, but I'll go through step by step. And once we're here, CAM, Classes Add-on Mod, is what we're looking for, so we will click that. Um, right, yeah, ignore the beta testing, um, you won't see it, and I'm not using it in my, uh, let's play, don't worry about that. But we're gonna go down to welcome and manual plus download. And once we are there, we can see download, yes we can, for the latest version, version 1.0, which is out for both Windows and Mac, though I have it on good authority that they are working on 2.0. But for now we will use 1.0. So you can go ahead and get your version, Windows or Mac. All of this, very, very simple so far. Uh, I won't actually install it, but I'll give you an example of how to do it. You click it, it takes you to this page. This page requires, I think, a login. Probably all oh, the, the form probably does too. But you click that, it downloads. Doop, 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 nice and downloaded, right? Go to wherever it downloaded, and for me, it's a simple download folder. Go ahead and extract that to wherever, go into wherever, and then run the exe file. Very, very easy. Now, I'm not actually going to install this, but for the sake of argument, for the sake of argument, this will pop up. Agree to license. And here's where things get a little tricky. A little bit, a little bit. Obviously, you want the main classes add on one, but you got a couple of different options. Like for traffic, do you want to promote biking and walking, etc., etc., etc. I will warn you. you. One, you probably shouldn't promote this. Because biking, walking, they don't count as customers. And if they don't count as customers, then your commercial area is going to suffer a little bit. So I'm warning you right now. You probably don't want to do that, though, you know, it's your city. If you want some people biking and walking to work, go ahead, whatever, do whatever. Install it to wherever you want, which is typically, I, you probably don't want to change this, your document SimCity 4 plugins folder, and then you're good to go. I already have it installed. In fact, I made a kind of a few adjustments to mine, so I'm not going to mess with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out. And, of course, we like to keep everything nice and neat, so after we're done with that, we're going to chuck it in the trash. All right. Now that we're done with that, how do we get buildings and the dependencies for the buildings? Good question. For that, it's very, very simple. You go back to this little forum, and we click linking all lats, or lats? What the Christ? Linking all available lots and bats. And we wait for the forum, because it's a little bit slow. La la la, here we are. And we download, download, download. Where do I download the Camelots? What do you know? The exact question that we were all wondering. And lo and behold, the kind people of this forum have gone ahead and put together a few starter packs for us. And if you're just starting out with Cam, probably what you want. So you can go ahead and get residentials, commercial offices, services, industrials, or farms. Keep in mind, the CAM does let you build a better rural community. And personal note, 
my opinion, if you are into building rural communities and pharma type cities, agricultural, go ahead and record it. There are a lot of cities, you know, building skyscrapers like myself and your average city. Not a lot of rural communities being built on uh, YouTube. So if you got a good one, show us what it is. But again, my opinion. Let's say we want residentials. Same deal as before. Go, download, it downloads. Depending on your connection, it'll probably already be done by the time you get the folder open. Same deal as before. Simply extract. And now again, this gets a little bit more complicated. You can pick and choose what you want, or all of it, in which case just highlight it all, extract it all. Or if that's not what you want to do, you can go ahead and just say, you know what, I only want high wealth extra buildings, or I only want medium wealth extra buildings, or maybe you're building a type of city that you only want low wealth extra buildings. Okay, whatever. Go through and simply run the exe. It'll install exactly where it needs to go. Easy, just like I did last time. Won't take up your time seeing that again. I think you guys learned that enough from that. However, even that, as time consuming as it is going through each and every one of those folders and running those exes are, is simple. The hard part is the dependencies, making sure that all those buildings are gonna function properly. For that, that's where the time sync comes in. For that, we have to go back to Camelot Dependencies. And you can click the link, or you can go back and simply, I uh, don't know why you'd want to, can go back and click it from here as well. But I clicked the link, and just like they gave us a few starter packs, they gave us pretty much the most common dependencies used for those buildings. So I would go down and install every single link here. Yes, that's gonna take a while. And same as last time, click, download, extract, install. Very, very, very simple. However, let's assume you did all of that correctly and you're still having problems with your Camelot. Maybe you're getting brown boxes. What the frack do we do then? Well, it's simple. We're going to go back to linking all available lots and bats. That's the one that we really want right there, the bats. Because you'll notice down here, this is divided into a much more interesting, in-depth uh, detail of the houses in question. Like, let's say you did all that, you installed correctly, and, I don't know, this small timber frame house. Uh, didn't install correctly. It looks like a brown box instead of like the pictures are loving, lovingly being shown here. What happened? What went wrong? Well, because you don't have the, the dependencies. So you would go to this third column. Go ahead, click, download, extract, install. Same as last time. Very, very simple. Something's acting up. You have the name here for, you know, just match it by uh, the wealth, low wealth, or just go to the name. I also recommend just pulling up uh, control F for the search function and doing, for example, small timber frame house. And what do you know? There it is right there, nicely highlighted for us. And once we found it, we can go to the third column, get the dependencies that are required for it, and then we're good to go. Because that's what this is. It gives us the name of the how the name of the uh, structure, where to download it, this, this, the particular structure, and what dependencies are required for that structure. Now you'll notice a lot of these places don't have dependencies listed. Why? Why is that? You're wondering. Well, chances are, when you click on that itself it'll list the dependencies or it won't require them. And here you can see essentials, textures. These were the ones that were already listed previously in this list. So if you have these installed, chances are if it's not listed, you're good to go. I probably shouldn't have closed that, but oh well. 
But yes, you can go down, and even once you're completely installed, you'll notice that there's a lot more uh, listed here than there are that you just downloaded. So if you want to go back and say, I want more, I don't know, let's say High Wealth. Give me something High Wealth that we didn't download. Harborside, all right. Maybe you want some more buildings for High Wealth Residential. Well, okay, fine. You can go click it. You like the look of it? Download it. Make sure that uh, you got the dependencies for it, and you're good to go. So very, very simple. And you can see they have everything. All of the wealth, residential, offices, medium, high, services, low, medium, high, agricultural, dirty industrial, manufacturing, high tech. It's all there. Gives you the name of the name of the lot, where to download the lot, and the dependency. Very, very simple. And you can pick and choose to your heart's content. Really? NVIDIA? <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Wow, that's huge. But alright, NVIDIA Corporation building. I don't think I have that. I would love to put it in my uh, region, though. If NVIDIA sends me a graphics card, I will gladly, gladly be their whore. But alright. That takes care of Cam. There are a few other things that I have to recommend, though. A few uh, add-ons that I really could not do without. And let's go back to SC4 Devotion's main page so I can take you there. And for this, you don't have to use SC4 Devotion if you don't want to. Here, you can use Simtropolis, go to their uh, ST Exchange, their Stacks, or you can go to SC4 Devotion's Lex and log in you know whatever one you want to use and for that I have to really recommend the NAM the network add-on mod why do I really have to recommend this it's simple the options you get in your vanilla SimCity 4 installation are really really crappy the traffic controllers are trash you don't get much in the way of roads to use, overpasses, on-ramps, etc, etc, etc. You don't really get a lot of choice. This changes all of that. They give you a traffic controller that will try and use high uh, mass transit. They give you, well, download it and look. I mean, it's got a huge page of what they've added. I highly recommend it. And, of course, maybe the retexture mod. That's always important, too. Well, not too important, but, you know, if you want it to look a little bit better, I advise it. Another one to use, I recommend for that, let's go ahead and use the stacks, because maybe you like using the stacks, I don't know, is the RTMT, the Road Top Mass Transit mod. And for that, ah, Christ, where are you? So I don't use stacks very much. Here we are. Road Top Mass Transit mod is as you can see here. It puts the bus sta the uh, bus station and the subways right on the road, so you don't have to use a lot for them. Highly recommend uh, this particular mod. However, be careful with that mod because I think they were slightly. I don't want to call them dicks, but let's just say not very efficient. Yeah, dependency requires you to actually install version 3.5. So make sure you snag version 3.5 before you download and install version 3.6. Long as you do that, you're good to go. Um, anything else I can recommend here? Um, I mean, the hospital and the schools that I'm using in my own Let's Play SimCity for. Uh, I think I got those here off Simtropolis, if I recall correctly. But I think that's about it. So if you have any questions about plugins, let me know. And have fun playing SimCity 4.